Welcome to today's presentation. In today's presentation, we are going to look at KCC Mathematics 2016, paper one. And today we are going to look at question number three. Previously, we looked at question number two. And today we are looking at question number three. Question number three is on volume and capacities. So the question reads, the external length, width, and height of an open rectangular container are 41 centimeters, 21 centimeters, and 15.5 centimeters, respectively. The thickness of the materials making the container is 5 millimeters. If the container has 8 liters of water, calculate the internal height above the water level. So, before we answer this question, I wish that we first interpret the question in diagrams. So, we are told that the thickness of the material used in making the container is 5 millimeters. So we have at this point 5 millimeters from this end to this end also 5 millimeters and then from the bottom surface that is of the external part to the bottom surface of the internal part the width is 5 millimeters. We are also given that the external length, width, and height are as follows. So we have the external as 41 centimeters for the length. And then for the width, we have 21 centimeters. And then the height is 15.5 centimeters. Remember what we are interested in here is the length, width, and height of the internal part. So remember here also is five millimeters. This end also five millimeters. That is from the external margin to the internal margin. The width there is five millimeters. So we want to determine the dimensions of the internal part. So the length from this end to this end, we determine by simply having the length of the external minus the width, or rather the distance covered by the width, five millimeters and five millimeters on both ends. So five millimeters from plus five millimeters, that is 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters is equivalent to one centimeter. So for the internal part, we'll have 41 minus one centimeters, and that is 40 centimeters for the length. For the width, we will have 21 minus one. Remember, five millimeters and five millimeters on both ends gives us 10 millimeters, and that is one centimeter. So 21 minus one is 20 centimeters. So we have the length and the width of the internal part. So we can also determine the height of the internal part. Remember for the height, uh, we only have the width five millimeters on one end, that is at the bottom. Because it's open on the surface here, we won't have an extension of five millimeters. So we'll only have the external height, which is 15.5 centimeters minus five millimeters five millimeters for this case here so five millimeters is equivalent to 0 0.5 centimeters so the height will be 15.5 centimeters minus 0 0.5 centimeters and that is 15 centimeters that is the height of the internal part so with this we can therefore continue with the question as follows. So uh, calculate the internal height above the water level. 
if the container already has 8 liters of water. So uh, if we have 8 liters of water, we want to determine that height and then we'll subtract it from 15 centimeters to get the height above. Remember, the internal part is also a cuboid in nature, so the volume of a cuboid is obtained by simply having length times width times height and the length we now know is 40 centimeters times width 20 times the height which we do not know and we are told that this is already 8 liters 8 liters in cubic centimeters that is 8000 cubic centimeters remember 1000 cubic centimeters is equivalent to 1 liter so that is what I've used in conversion here so we are going to get the height of water in the container by simply dividing both sides. So you consider from this end to this part. So dividing both sides by, this is 800. The height simply becomes, so this goes, and then here we'll have 10, 10 centimeters for the height, 10 centimeters. Remember that is the height of water in the container. So from this end to this part here we have 10 centimeters. But we are interested in the height above the water level. So if the level of water is here, then height above the water level should be obtained by the total height of the internal part, which is 15 centimeters minus 10 centimeters. So that will give us so the height above water level will be obtained by simply having the height of the internal part which is 15 centimeters minus 10 centimeters which is the height of water there and that is 5 centimeters. And thus, we've answered question number three, KCSC Mathematics, paper one, the year 2016. So that is the end of it. I want to hope that I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.